two vessels contain milk and water in the ratio 8 is to 7 and 11 is to 13 respectively. In what ratio these vessels are to be mixed to obtain a new mixture containing milk and water in the ratio 1 is to 1? This is an allegation problem. We have discussed 15 mixture problem. Now this is an allegation problem. So here milk and water in the first vessel is in the ratio 8 is to 7. Second vessel it is in the ratio 11 is to 13. Now the resultant mixture should be 1 is to 1. But we don't know in what ratio this vessel, two vessels should be mixed. So we have to find the ratio in which this vessel should be mixed to obtain new 1 is to 1 ratio. So 8 plus 7 is equal to 15 parts. 11 plus 13 is equal to 24 parts. And in the resultant mixture, 1 is to 1 is equal to 2 parts. Now LCM of 15, 24 and 2 is equal to 120. Here 15 goes 8 times in 120. So multiply first ratio with 8. 24 goes 5 times in 120. So multiply second ratio with 5. 2 goes 60 times in 120. So multiply resultant mixture, resultant ratio in with the 60. Now you have to find out milk parts. I will use the allegation method. So you have to find the Milk parts. Here 8 into 8 is equal to 64 unit is milk part. 11 into 5 is equal to 55 unit is milk parts. Now this is, we have equalized the parts. That's why we are taking 64 and 55. In the resultant mixture, milk part is equal to 60 into 1, 60 unit. Now in the resultant mixture, milk part is equal to 60 unit. Resultant, we have milk part 60 unit. And initially we have 64 unit in the first vessel and 55 unit in the second vessel. This is milk part. Okay, This is milk part. Initially we have 64 unit in the first vessel and 55 unit in the second vessel. Now in the final mixture we have 60 unit here. 60 unit here. So when you are using allegation method always subtract 64, 60 from 64. That is 64 minus 60 is equal to 4. 60 minus 55 is equal to 60 minus 55 is equal to 5. That is 5 is to 4 is your new ratio. That is you always when you use allegation method use milk quantity. This is milk quantity. All three are mixed quantity. This is initial quantity in the first vessel and two, uh, second vessel respectively. In the middle you have resultant quantity of milk that is 60. Then subtract 60 from 64 that is 64 minus 60 is equal to 64 minus 60 is equal to 4. Here 60 minus 55. 60 minus 55 is equal to 5. So 5 is to 4. Option A is your answer. So you have to mix these two vessels in 5 is to 4 ratio in order to get 1 is to 1 resultant mixture.